can move. Looks like I'm dancing. Well... Hi. That's right, it's me, Scripter. How are you doing, folks? I'm doing great. Real great. We're here. We're playing Ark. Ark Survival Evolved. Look at this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? This game is stunning. I'm about a thousand hours into this game right now. And I think I've seen everything there is to see on YouTube about this game. I'm following the guys from the Argonaut server and from the Pooping Evolved server. Big shout out to all of you guys. Um, they are pretty far into this game. They have like season 3, season 4 running, modded series running. So I thought we're going to take a different take on this game. What we're going to do is we're going to do a single player to start off. You can do this on multiplayer, no problem. It's just this is not a game about PvP. Not for me, not right now. We're doing PvE. And we are doing a planned play, which means I'm going to show all of you folks how to set up a base PvE style, which means we're going to build a platform, and this platform will be our main crafting station, and this platform will be designed in a way that you have short ways from your storage to your crafting stations. We have everything there, everything contained in one, I wouldn't say humongous building. It's, it's going to be neat. It's going to be really, really nice. So, to start off, I've already spawned right here, let me show you, right there. Uh, that should be spawn point west 3, this is pretty much all up and down the, the western coast. And we're going to walk up north, you can see it right there, the snow biome, where the snow biome starts. That's where we are going to set up shop for a number of different reasons. Like I said, we're going to do a planned play. So we are planning a lot of things ahead. We need to know where the resources are that we need. You see, we have stone, we have plants, we have uh, trees, so we have fiber, wood and thatch, we have berries, everything is here. Stone and flint is here. Over there in the snow biome, right up there, is pearls and crystal and metal. So we have all the major resources that we need. Uh, we just need to go farm kite and keratin and all that stuff. But since the snow biome is right there, at night we will have a lot of scorpions and stuff and things like that. So it should be no problem to get all the resources. Now, I've copied the settings from the Pooping Evolved server. <laughs> First of all, because they are publicly available. Second of all, because I watched a lot of videos from that server and I just like their settings. They are nice setup, you know, they are designed for people like me who do YouTube videos just to be able to uh, farm a little bit faster, to carry more weight, um, all that stuff. Because this game is really nice and you can do it on official server with your standard settings. It just takes a little longer. And we're not here to waste time, we're here to do some awesome building, do some awesome taming. And that's what we're gonna do. And we didn't die from that jump. Great! So, we've just started. Um, we're level 1, actually just leveled up from just standing there doing the intro. So let's see, we're gonna start bumping up movement speed up to 110. That's the first thing we do, because once you have 110, you can actually walk backwards and hurt scorpions that are coming towards you, and we're going to have to deal with those guys quite a lot. So, since we don't have anything, first thing we gotta do is gather some resources, and we're gonna start off with some bushes. Don't really need that stone, but... You know, as it's lying on the ground, you have to pick it that up before you actually can get to the bushes. Come on. If you have something like this, where you're close to a tree and it says, well, you need to hit it, just turn around so you don't see it. As long as you're standing in the bush, you can grab that bush. Also, I'm going to give you a few tips every now and then. Hello. Like this one. Uh, just... You know, to help you out, folks, because this game can be frustrating if you don't know a couple of tips and tricks. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to show you the first few steps that we're going to undertake. Where to level, what to level, 
and then I'm going to leave you right there, do a little off camera work, and get back to you once it gets interesting. I think that's the best idea here because at the moment it's just gathering stuff and getting a couple of levels in. So, first things we need, you need the hatchet, you need the spear, you already have the metal pick, you do need a campfire because you want to get into food, well cooked meat that is, as soon as possible because cooked meat actually heals you whereas berries don't. Then you also want to have some armor because, especially cloth armor is good here because we're getting into the uh, snowy area, it's gonna get cold there, so we need some protection. Can we already craft something? Yes, this, because it only needs fiber. Actually, one is enough, thank you. So, I'm gonna need a few different things. I'm gonna start off with that, wood and thatch. Where's the tree? Oh, it's getting night, perfect. <coughs> Keep it coming. Thanks. That's enough. So, now I'm going to take these for the moment. Put them down here. No, down there. I'm going to save up on these for taming. These as well for taming. And these just in case we need them. Um, you won't get any food or water out of this. This is just to get your stamina back up. So, these are the ones we're going to eat for the moment and then once we get into cooked meat we're going to uh, well store them away or just chuck them away because we don't really need them anymore so can we hack one of those rocks I bet we can 99 enough oh missing out on thatch so whenever you harvest a resource like this there's usually uh, two resources you can get from this. As you can see here, it's thatch and wood. With a pick, you harvest more thatch than wood. With the hatchet, it's the other way around. That's just one thing to keep in mind. Because that happens pretty much on all of it, um, the resources we have. It even happens on corpses of dead dinosaurs. So one of those two tools will get you more height, the other one will get you more meat. And now it's getting dark and I assume cold, so can we get a torch going? Come on. There we go. That warms you up. You have your icon in the lower left hand of the screen that tells you it's a little bit chilly. If you press H, uh, it gives you details about everything you see on your screen. It also gives you the time and day and all that stuff. So we're on day two. Because it's 3 a.m. already. I leveled up just from standing here again. Very nice. Or movement speed. Once we've done with the movement speed uh, up to 110, like I said, we are going to bump weight at least up to 200 because we want to carry around a lot of stuff at the same time. We're down to zero engram points. Cool. You never have enough engram points to learn everything in here, so you need to be choosy. I tend to learn only the stuff that I'm currently about to work with, so as soon as I need a box, I'm going to learn that box. I'm not going to learn that just now because I can. Well, I can't at the moment, but you know what I mean, right? Oh, that's me. This is scary when he starts running. Uh, there's no bad guys around here at the moment, and night is already fading away. That's because our night setting is, I think, 0.7 of usual time that it needs. Uh, day is longer, I think, 2 times 2. Sounds about right. Don't need you anymore. There's an egg. Gonna get mad at me for taking that egg? No, you don't. I'm gonna get mad at you for being here. Give me all your hide. Thank you. Uh, you're stuck, right? Are you going to stay stuck? That would be so nice. It's a herbivore, it's not going to attack you, it's just going to run away, and as long as I don't hit that tree, I can't get away. Come here. Man, that spear is durable. Usually three, four, five hits and that spear breaks. You can have it that you have three spears there, and you hit the creature three times, and every time your spear breaks. So you see, the hatchet is good for getting hide. 
Gotta level up from that. So, water skin. Once we've done that, we need the box, we need slingshot just to be able to tame our first protective dinosaur. We're not going to tame any or every dinosaur that there is on this island because, like I said, it is a planned play, so we're only going to tame what we actually need. And what we do need, I will get into that once we arrive at that stage. So, let me get some water. Just go into the water, press E, and you fill up your water, as you can see on the right-hand side there. Uh, food is going down as well, so we just munch on some berries. Just give me all of them, doesn't matter. Not really too much into calculating exactly how much food and water you get from these and how much you should eat and whatnot. I just, you know, they're there, I eat them. They're cheap to get, just harvest some more fiber and you get the berries for free. So, well, what's next on the list? We have a bit of hide, we have armor wise, uh, chest and legs, so we need hat, we need feet. Are we out of fiber? Yes, that's your usual problem in the beginning. You run out of fiber very fast. I actually don't need that egg. Not right now. So, also let me sort this a little. don't like it when it's all mixed up. So, that's our main resources for now. I have them on top just to be able to, you know, get a quicker look at my inventory and see what I actually have. We are overburdened already. Well, not overburdened, but we're burdened. So we need to work on that weight fairly soon. Or get a box where we can store all our stuff. For the moment we are going to stay here, just because at night we can just run up there and pretty much nothing can reach us except for flyers and there are no dangerous flyers in the area. Which makes it pretty good for us. And then, like I said, we're going to move over there and have fun building our first house, which will be our starter house. That's the first thing we need to do. We need to have an enclosure for us and our dinosaurs and uh, make sure that we are safe in there, that we can start crafting, getting all our, um, all our stations set up and getting our storage set up and all of that. So, I'm gonna leave you here. I'll be back once something interesting happens. Um, that was close. Killed it. Can. Move. Looks like I'm dancing. Well, all right. Shh. Be quiet. There's a dillo right there. Yeah, you just saw me standing over one of his buddy's corpses. Um, we're gonna do the same to this guy. So, just get at it. I rearranged my tools a little, as you can see. I'll explain that once we're done with this guy. Managed to get some food, managed to get the water skin. Uh, close enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shoot. This. Ow. See, that's what I meant about movement speed 110. Just move backwards. Keep hitting him. That was way less of a climax than the other one. <laughs> So, yeah, I like uh, to have my tools in the slots where you can currently see them. Just because so I have the first four slots free for building, which we're going to need fairly soon. And then I have my pick and my hatchet, I have my melee weapon, and then usually my trank weapon, which is to say my, well, tranquilizer weapon. So for the moment that will be the slingshot. Once we get into the higher tier engrams, we will have our long neck rifle with trank darts in there. Um, before that, of course, we are going to have our bow and or crossbow with um, the tranquilizing arrows in there. So, we know where everything is, quick, uh, quickly accessible for um, whatever need we, we deem the necessary for. And now we're going to try to navigate back up here. And we ran out of stamina again. That happens fairly often, so we're going to bump that up as well. And here we are. That's the rest of our berries. The dehydrated. Yes, I have everything here I need. So, we're gonna fill that up. 
This usually has three slots, so you put in wood in two stacks of meat, and once it starts producing its own items, it adds slots as necessary. Mm -hmm. If I take out this meat, I can't put it back in because we're over those three slots. As long as I leave it there, this stacks up until it's full. So this will be 30, and this will be 100, I think, for charcoal. We can't put it back in. We can only take it out. So it's fine with me. Bring some water. Get some more water. Can I get down there and back up? Yeah, I guess I can. Now press the number of the slot your water skin is in. And it fills up as long as your feet are touching the water. Good. So, where are we? Almost done with that level. So first thing I'm going to do now is going to learn that box so we can put stuff away and then we need just two more points to get the slingshot slingshot only needs stones so you just need to collect them from the ground makes it fairly simple uh, once we have that we're going to get into building so what do we need for that box i bet we have everything yes we do so what i see people do very often here is they're going to drag this down here so they can then go out press one and place that box Seriously, in that case, why would you do that? You can just click that box, which you have to do anyway if you want to drag it down, and then press Use Item and get back out. Only drawback of this is, if I now press right-click to um, cancel that command, basically, then I have to go back into the inventory and do it again. So I can understand why you would do this, but just for one item, I don't bother. There you go. Have all of this. And this. Uh, we keep that. Put those in there. They will spoil fairly soon because the box obviously is not refrigerated. Doesn't really matter uh, for now. Just place to keep them for the moment. If we actually need them, we might need the narcos. Not sure about the other berries. But why would you throw them away if you can just put them in there? If we run out of space, we can chuck them out. So I'm going to find and kill. I'm going to try and find another dino that I can kill. And I'll be right back. Da! Didn't even see you. Come here. Didn't even look around. Uh, yep, we can go this way. Come here. Here, kitty kitty. Nope, you're not going to hit that. It spits at you. Just walk sideways. It's too stupid to aim. Is that a level up? No, it's no level up. Okay. If we actually find a high level one, settings on this server say uh, highest level is 120, so I'm not going to bother with these. We are going to try and tame that for our protection. Won't do as much because it's really not that good a dino, but it's better than having nothing. At least we can draw some aggro from whatever is trying to kill us. It's raining. Uh, it rains quite a lot in Ark. Whenever it rains, you can just press the button for your water skin. You will drink water and you will fill up your water skin. Good to know, good to do. Also, um, at this current early stage of the game, at this level, best method to gain a level, just collect berries. It, whenever you gather resources, you actually get experience for that. You can see that level up meter flashing there on the right hand side. And there's our level. So let's get back out of here so we can actually see if something is coming towards us. Are we safe? Yes. Inventory. So, stamina or weight? I guess at the moment, weight. Slingshot. Getting more points now. Um, the higher you get in levels, the more points you get per level, which is quite good. Gonna do the slingshot, gonna do the sleeping bag. Sleeping bag is your spawn point, it's a one-time use spawn point, so whenever something kills you, you don't have to respawn somewhere randomly on that map. Like I said, West 3 spawn point is somewhere up and down this whole coast, up into the snow biome. So, um, that's quite a distance to walk or run, and if you are followed by dinosaurs who try to kill you, it's not the best thing to do. So, I hope we have everything we need. Oh, that was a shortcut. Let's just see. What do we need? Hide. Uh, you can hover over 
the item and press T for transfer. It will transfer everything. Even works when the crafting menu is up. You can't... Well, you can't double click, but you can't drag it over at the moment. So you have to press T if you want to. Shift T is half a stack. Control T is just one item. So we're going to do half a stack here just to make it a little bit simpler on us. Have all of that, so we're gonna queue that up. That still looks good. That first dillo just hit me a couple of times. Some people call them dillos, some people call them dilos. I don't really care what you like to call them, I call them dillos. So you have to bear with me on that. <laughs> so we don't need that, we don't need that. Yeah, I killed a trilobite, so we get some chitin and some pearls. Don't need them just yet, but why waste the resources if you can, you know, store them away? Uh, actually, we're going to keep that, because now that we have a slingshot, you can see we have 20 ammunition in here. That's those rocks. Don't need any of that. You go over here, you go over here, you go over here. You don't go anywhere. And we have enough food for the moment, so we're going to check that out. You ran out of wood, so we need to empty this out a little to get a free slot. I'm going to take half of that. Put it in there and light it. These stack up to 30, so we're gonna take that, put it down here so we can eat it. These also have a spoil timer, of course, so this spoils in 5 minutes 30. That's the first item in this stack. The next one will also take roughly the same time, so I like to have a big stack here and the small stack here. We're going to consume that one and then have the big stack uh, for later use. At least for the moment, until we get into actually having some sort of refrigeration. You can also chuck it in here. See, it doesn't change anything because it's not refrigerated. Uh, well, we don't have to carry it around, so why wouldn't you do that? And if you die, we don't have to run over there and get all our items back. We can just come here and we have some food. So, what I wanted to do is put this down. Well, you know what? We just chuck it right at the side here. That's a comfy position, right? Who wouldn't want to sleep in that? What is that? Some height, some thatch. Can't wait to get to bed. Good. So, that's our humble beginnings. Uh, what we're gonna do next is probably build a little bit of a structure up here, if we can. I haven't tested that yet. For that we need the next level to actually get uh, the engram points to be able to build structures. Um, Maybe put a ladder on here, so that we can go up and down and put the first few crafting stations that we are going to need. And once we have uh, enough armor, enough weapons, <coughs> enough ammunition, and maybe one or the other dinosaur... Come on, jump. <coughs> we are going to go over there, past that, well, cliff there. I can show you on the map. <coughs> no, that's not the button. That's not the button. Can I have my mouse, please? No, I can't. Well, forget about that. So, um, you see we're at latitude, what is that, 58? 55. So we're going to move up towards that river there at 48, past that, and we're going to stay at around about 40, where that little lake is. And we're going to move inland a little bit, I would say longitude 22, 23 maybe. Oh, where's my spear? There, that's a crosshair. So that is that piece of area over there. And as you can see, there is a cliff. And we're going to move up that little inlet. It's roughly there, which you can't see because there's stuff in the way. That's where we're going to set up shop for our starter base. Once we have that, we're going to get into getting all the tools, crafting stations, everything we can possibly put in there. So we have everything set up and we'll venture forth and build our real big base. That's our main goal for starters. So I'm going to do some off-camera work because at the moment there's really not much I can show you. It's nothing really interesting. We're just going to need to get some levels. And I guess I will be back once we have our humble beginning sorted out here. Or if we find a dinosaur that we would like to have, like uh, a dillo or maybe even a raptor, because they spawn over there and I might just go and have a look what's up there. Also, at that very corner there, where it dips into the water, that would be, what is that, 38, 15? That's 
a spawn point for carnivores, alphas, all the stuff that wants to kill you and does so very, very good. So we're gonna have to be on the lookout for those guys. On the other hand, they help us level and they help our dinosaurs level fairly quickly. So it's one of the reasons why I chose that area. I'm gonna show you all the other bets, benefits um, once we get there. Words. I'd say that's it for today, folks. Let's put that away. Oh, I look ferocious. Unfortunately, you can't attack in this mode. It just brings you back. Right, so. That's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. See you soon.